everyone welcome back to my channel now today I have got a favourites video for you so I've collected some stuff that I've been loving throughout November and I thought I would share these with you guys now I've got quite a collection of different stuff here ranges from footwear to um, beauty and then one or two other different bits so um, I'm going to get straight into it because there's one or two few pieces and I did a really long rambly intro in my previous video so I'll uh, keep it short for you guys. So the first thing is I'll go into beauty and yes of course it has to be the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette that featured in my previous video. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I've really been loving playing around with the um, eyeshadows in this palette. I mean, just look how beautiful they are. Um, I absolutely love these and I've had a lot of fun creating different smoky eye looks but also just using one or two of these shades just on their own just for a day-to-day -day basis rather than going the full hog of fancy eyeshadow for just going to the office um, so yeah I've really been loving this and what I do like about this and I didn't mention it in my beauty haul video was that these palettes come with an amazing eyeshadow brush now I haven't got it because it's in my um, in my brush collection ready to be um, cleaned but they always come with a really good brush that you would probably be expected to, bet, to pay around about 20-25 pounds a regular um, high-end beauty star they are great I absolutely love them they're my favorite eyeshadows and I've got three of them um, that come in with these palettes so yeah I have been loving this and I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of it throughout December my hair is driving me mad today and I don't know why my face has been looking really puffy on this camera recently it's so annoying but I'm just gonna get into the next beauty item and again all of these products actually featured in my last video so I will rush through them um, but I couldn't not feature this in my November favourites and it is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go setting spray as I said previously I've used it every single day and I am obsessed and it really does work I mean last night which was Friday night I um, applied my makeup in the morning around about eight o'clock just before I went to work and we had an event on at work so I didn't get back home until midday now yes my makeup did like not go completely but it had faded since I applied it that morning but it was still there and it was still visible and the eye makeup itself was fab um, so yeah this really does work and I just used three um, sprays just doing it in a circling motion around my face and it is amazing and then I couldn't not feature this in a video excuse how messy it is it's actually quite grim it's embarrassing um, but it is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara you know how much I love about this I do not need to rave about it any more than what I have been doing um, it's fab it does everything that I need it elongates and it thickens at the same time and it's just the perfect mascara to use this is my second mascara from the collection second buy um, and I know I'll definitely repurchase it again just the annoying bit is the um, clunkiness uh, the, um, all the mascara that's clunked up around the brush that is a little bit annoying but I can look past that with how amazing it looks on my eyelashes and then the final beauty item I have is the Revolution Baking Powder Ghost Finish. I am obsessed with this. I've got it on today. As I said, I finished working at midnight last night and I got in and I could not get to sleep past 2 o'clock because my mind had gone into overdrive. So um, I put a little of a brightening concealer on and then I've just used this um, to bake under the eyes and it really has brightened them up. Well, makes me look a little bit more awake than what I was before for and it is just a um, fab product to use and only five pound and you get a lot of product in here and I know I mentioned in my beauty um, haul video which I keep mentioning I keep plugging so I'll link it in the description box below if you haven't seen it yet um, I said that it was quite difficult to get the product out well I figured that one out so obviously you need to pour it into the lid but whilst you're doing it squeeze this um, 
tub itself and you get so much product out probably a little bit too much but I mean for the amount that you get in here and the amount that it cost it was only five pound you can waste a little bit of this product um, I've still got so much left in here and I've used it quite a lot since I've got it so yeah if you're wanting to um, use a translucent powder definitely try this one out Makeup Revolution have some fab products their eyeshadow palettes are amazing they do dupes of these um, and they are really great for like a third if not more of the price less of the price um, let's go into footwear before I start talking about the really random products and they do get pretty random um, so this past month I have had so many different events to attend I had a christening um, I had an engagement party and I had some work dues and I have been loving wearing these um, pointed court shoes so these grey suede heels these are from Dorothy Perkins um, and the heel it's not too high um, and these are so comfortable to wear they are amazing and they seem to go with everything as well especially everything that I wanted to wear because um, I go for more of the um, dress up in more of the dark colours i.e. blacks and really dark greys so these have been the perfect pairing and they're not too high too um, which is fab so I can wear them a lot longer than I would a different heel the only downside to these is they don't have a platform at the front and I prefer to have a higher heel to get the platform at the front to find them easier to walk in um, but to be fair there's no difficulty in walking in these the downside was um, I got them out just before um, the, the night before that I was going to the christening and they were disgusting I wore them for a night out with work and because you go into town and drinks get spilled not only by yourself but by random people and then it gets busy and they stand on your feet you always get like black marks on the shoes especially when they were suede and I googled that and it said you're not allowed to put water on suede shoes so I thought that's it they're ruined like the one pair of heels that I would wear throughout November and then going into the um, festive season like I'd have to buy a new pair I mean they're really cheap they're only £25 but that's not the point like they shouldn't have got ruined but I did a little DIY I got a nail brush and some hot water and I've just um, scraped them and then I used a hairdryer to dry them and they're pretty much like brand new um, so yeah that's a cool little DIY for you to um, add to your list I know there's been videos circulating a number of months ago now for different DIY life hacks I've got one or two fun things that I'd quite like to share with you so if that is a video that you would quite like to see do let me know and I will film it especially as we're heading into the party scene but just because party scene party season just because I've got one or two hacks that might help you um, when getting ready for those parties so yeah do let me know in the comments below and the final pair of shoes sticking with the po pointed toe is these absolutely adorable B ballet pumps these are from Primark and they are like a um, suede style fabric so they might get a little bit ruined um, when it rains and these are just the best things since sliced bread and they're only £8 which is fab and they're quite dressy too so if you're not a heel um, wearer then these will be perfect for the party season because it goes with a number of different things so yeah I love these these come in a really nice um, like a deep I want to say like a crushed velvety style um, dark blue and then they come in a crushed velvety style um, burgundy too and these are grey I'm a size five and these fit me perfect they did rub on the back of my heel the first time I wore them but now um, they're fine because I've worn them non-stop if I haven't been wearing these heels I've been wearing these all the time so yeah these are fab and you can still get them in Primark right on to the random products um, I'll start with one which isn't too random and then it's it's gonna go there I've just got to do it but I love it so I thought I've got to share it with you. Um, for Martin's birth 
birthday in October I bought him this box set from an American TV series called Community. Now we started watching this on Netflix um, we were obsessed with it and then we got to the last series and I think we got to five or six episodes towards the last um, before the last one and they got rid of it. Like how many times do Netflix have to get rid of a good TV show? I started watching 90210, the most recent one, from quite a few number of years ago now. But again, I think I got into the last series and they just got rid of it. Like when I get into a TV show, I get into a TV show. I binge watch it. Like I get home from work. The first thing I do is I put on an episode and then like we have to watch one when we eat our tea. And then whenever Martin's playing on his Xbox or PlayStation, I'm like, hmm, I might go on my iPad and watch another episode. Um so that's what we did. We watched one before bed and when we're watching um when we're eating our tea and then they just got rid of it. So I thought it'd be quite nice to pick up the box set. Um, and now we go to bed a little bit earlier on a night because we're so old at 24 and 26 um, and we put on an episode of this and it's just really good, it's really light hearted and it is fab. Um, one of the um, actors that you might recognise in this is um, Childish Gambino, um, his character is so funny in this. Yeah, if you're looking for a light hearted comedy style show which is an easy watch definitely check this one out but it's not available on Netflix so maybe pick up the DVDs but they are super cheap. And then the next thing that I would not live without is my external hard drive. Now if you're into a blogging or if you're a person that stores a lot of files on their computer whether it is all your music or your photos all your important documents on there get one of these one because you have got a backup in case something happens to your computer it might be a brand new computer but you just never know put it on here this is a lifesaver especially when you're like me and your computer is definitely on the way out and you just cannot afford a new one and it keeps popping up saying no memory left no disk space and you're like are you absolutely serious so martin bought me one of these my laptop was driving me insane so bless martin he went out and picked me one up because i haven't got a clue what i'm looking at um this is one terabyte i'm not a big technophobe but one terabyte is a lot of storage and every video now that I make and edit as soon as it goes onto YouTube I put it on this and then it means I can take it off my laptop to um, give me a little bit more disk space um, and yeah it's fab I've got everything on here and it's so portable as well it's so thin it's so light I can take it around in my handbag with me and it's just one of those amazing things that you didn't realize you needed in your life until you've got it so I would so recommend getting one they are quite pricey but nowhere near as much as what it would be to um, lose all your important documents whether it's work documents or what personal ones or how much it is to buy a new laptop like this is nothing compared to that and the final one this one is gonna be a Alice why have you <laughs> included this in your video it's just a random piece of wood well it's not it is like the best invention ever so a number of months ago now um, we took one of our regular trips to Ikea to pick up some more stuff to try and fill out our house and make it look a little bit prettier and I came up across one of these and I've been thinking what on earth is it well it sits on your desk like this and then you can place either I'm just going to on charge at the moment I don't know whether it'll fit in oh it's not going to fit in uh, with my case um, but you can place your phone on there like so I don't want to show you the screen because I've got loads of text messages on there so it's probably not the best thing but when I've taken my case off my phone fits in there but let me just reach a, you can slot your iPad in like how amazing is that um me and martin both have one i think it was like a pound two pound so 
really really cheap and we just have it one each on our bedside table and you can just push it to one side of your dressing table and it takes up a lot less room and then also if you're working on your laptop or computer and you're wanting to watch a tv show or a youtube video then it's fab to just sit on here and just have it up um, at the back of your desk i also have this in my little tray oh out of focus and um, I have it on a little tray in my bath and it just fits in right I always get heart palpitations every time because I think it's gonna drop in the bath it, it doesn't it's safe touch wood for now but yeah it's really great to just to prop in my iPad when I'm in the bath and like this so this is one of the best inventions ever so if you want one get yourselves down to Ikea and that is all my favourites for you this month. Um, some definitely random ones in there, but that's what a favourites video is all about. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know whether you get sick of me saying give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos. But yeah, I'm really excited with where I want my channel to grow. And it's just really fun to be able to see um, that subscriber count go up. Even if it is really slow. Like each person that subscribes, I have a little dance around in the bedroom as soon as I see that count's gone up. Um, so yeah, it is. I, I really appreciate all your support. And it's just amazing to see um, it grow a little bit more every so often so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye